Sarah Impey made her first quilt in the early 1970s, when she was just a teenager. But it was only after making quilts for 30 years that she feels she found her true voice. She had trained as a journalist and had always had a fascination for language. When her third child was born with serious developmental issues, she stayed home to care for him, and quilting, which had previously been a kind of hobby, became a lifeline. In the past, her quilts were abstract, pleasing and intricate combinations that often drew attention to the act of stitching itself. But then, as she tells it, she saw a quilt in a show that had text on it and saw a way forward. She started stitching text into her work, sometimes using other people's words, sometimes her own, working to a plan or often just making it up as she went along. First the quilts were wry and often funny thoughts about the nature of language and the way it defines and subverts meaning in our lives. But over time they've become more political with often satirical records of the absurdities of contemporary life how we all use language to obscure, to excite, to entertain, to hide, to de-escalate, to educate, to rabble-rouse, to manipulate, often without our conscious awareness. She often finds visual analogies to the words, at times even breaking the traditions of what a quilt actually is. And there's something gutsy about them too, overturning the idea of quilt making being the kind of thing women did for themselves quietly without engagement in the wider manly world. And time, the time taken to make them, are ephemeral words laid down like fossils in sediment. Long after Brexit, long after Covid, long after all the speeches, the bravado, the hype, there will always be Sarah Impey's quilts, quietly bearing witness to our folly. I think Sarah will be seen as one of the great contemporary artists of our day. But then I'm totally biased. She's my sister. <laughs>